Hello, super awesome people of Y Ryerson. My name is Jenna. I am a second year creative industry student and today I will be showing you a super exciting day in my life. It is Wednesday in November. So according to my bullet journal here, which I absolutely live by, I write down everything I need to do. It has all my classes, my work assignments. I needed to live. So today I have two lectures. I am going grocery shopping, making some food, and doing some assignments. So stay tuned for a super awesome fun day. So every morning I like to start my morning off with a cup of tea. If I wake up before my alarm, which I did this morning, I always try to read a book. Right now I'm reading when no one is watching. So far I'm not loving it. It needs to pick up a little bit. I like to read a little bit so I'm not just staring at my screen for hours and hours a day. I like to do something else to kind of wake me up. It is 9.40 a.m. right now. I have my first lecture at 10. Today we are just listening to presentations. Right now to get my day started, I'm just going to look at some text from my friends, reply to them, look at my emails, kind of get my day started up. The two classes I have today, the first one, the one that I am waiting for right now, is RTA 905 History and Culture, History and Culture of Popular Music. It is for the music industry module that I am taking for my creative industries classes. And the one I have this afternoon is NNS 103 Basics of Photojournalism, which is for my other module. But Jenna, you must be thinking, what's a module? I'm so glad you asked. A module is one of the main parts of the creative industries. Everybody in the program has two creative content modules and they range from things to journalism, to film, to performance, acting, and dancing. There's 13 you can pick from. That's what makes creative industry so great in my opinion. You get a really good, uh, you can do a lot of cool things and you can really make it your own. So I'm going to go to class and I will catch up. I am just waiting for my lecture to begin. This is my work setup. I like to have my monitor here so I can watch the lecture. Then I usually take notes on my laptop. Okay, so I am still in class right now, but one of my favorite things about online learning is that um, I can just go and grab a snack whenever I'm hungry. So I am going to eat some cereal because cereal is amazing. My class is almost finished. We've been, they had some really cool presentations, like as a research project. Somebody did the 1975 and someone did my all-time favorite band, Queen. So I was, I was interested and now I am going to go grocery shopping so I can eat. So I live in downtown Toronto. I live about a five minute walk away from the Ryerson campus. And I am going to Loblaws to get my groceries because I just want to go to Loblaws. It's like a 10 minute walk away from my apartment, but I don't mind because it is a really nice day out. I'm pretty sure this time last year, there was a bunch of snow on the ground. And it is sunny and warm and I don't have to wear a jacket, so I am okay. I am done my grocery shopping. I just have to check out now. I have class in half an hour, so I got to uh, hurry up. It is 2.07 and I am waiting for my photojournalism class to start. I really like this class. The professor has done some really cool photography throughout his life. Each week we do a different type of like photography. So there's, we did portraits, we did pictorials, we did news coverage. So each week we have a different assignment. It's just a really interesting chill class because he kind of gives us some advice and shows us some pictures that he's done and that past students have done. But I like to eat my lunch 
I have um, leftover white cheddar crab dinner. That is a meal of champions. And sometimes I like to sit in my comfy chair right there and listen to this class. And I will show you what that looks like in a second. So I'm able to just kind of sit back in this chair, watch the lecture up there, and then I type notes here. It is really nice sometimes, especially when I'm sitting here for like three hours. So there are perks to online learning because I'm pretty sure chairs are not this comfortable in lecture halls. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do is go bother my roommates. So I'm going to bother my roommate, Melissa. Hi Melissa. Hi. Say hello to the lovely people of Y Ryerson. Hi everyone. Melissa, what are you doing right now? Um, I'm currently making dinner. I'm trying to make burrito bowls. So I have beans in this one pot. I'm making rice in another pot. I'm going to cook some peppers and then I have cheese and salsa and I'm going to mash an avocado. Ooh, she's like Gordon Ramsay up in here. <laughs> I try my best. I try my best. You know, gotta get that good meal prep. Melissa, what program are you in at Ryerson? I am an accounting and finance student. I'm in my second year, just like Jenna. Ooh. Um, yeah. How do you like online learning? Um, it was definitely a challenge at first to try and adjust to it, but I like it now because um, I like having the videos to go back to and reference if, in case I don't understand something in class. So that's definitely nice. Also, not having to go outside is really nice. I can just live in sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah i agree i just have one more question for you okay on a scale of one to ten how awesome of a roommate am i ten yeah <laughs> yeah jenna's awesome yeah ten out of ten would recommend to live with her <laughs> <laughs> thank you melissa okay so it is like almost 5 15 I have a small assignment thing I'm going to work on before I start cooking dinner. The presentations that I sat through this morning, I am presenting on with my group next week. Our topic is popular culture's influence on Miley Cyrus. So I'm going to listen to her new song, Midnight Sun. Oh, the song is not called Midnight Sun, it's called Midnight Sky. Oops. I'm going to analyze it but my friend has pretty much already done that so i'm just going to add some thoughts so for dinner tonight i am going to be making sesame tofu broccoli with some rice i didn't buy any sesame seeds at the grocery store which has been an oversight but i'm sure it will still be good at the very least it will be edible welcome to cooking with jenna so here is the tofu there is some oil and cornstarch so i am just going to cook that so here's an update on the cooking i kind of got distracted from filming because cooking is hard so here's my tofu there's the sauce yes that is way too much garlic in it there is the broccoli and there is the rice so we are basically master chef here it is like 6 17 i think it took me like an hour to cook that meal if you are somewhere right now and someone just cooked you a home cooked meal Go and give them a big hug um, because cooking is not easy. It is time consuming. A lesson that I have learned in the past few months. Okay, so I am eating the dinner and you know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good and I'll take pretty good. It is now like 7, 10-ish. I do have like an essay to work on but that's not due for like almost two weeks and then i have a voiceover to do for the presentation that i talked about earlier but i thought i would talk about my experience with online classes for a little bit because that is a hot topic there are some perks to online classes that include uh, wearing sweatpants every day eating during class sitting in my comfing chair sitting in my comfy chair but i also miss going to class and having that satisfaction of like walking out of the classroom and being like yeah i'm done i always try to wind down my schoolwork by a certain time like i try to have everything done by like eight nine because 
I want to have time to chill. I want to have time to do some cross stitching, do some knitting, do some reading, stuff that I like to do. Because you have to remember, even though it may feel like it, school is not your whole life. Hey everybody, if you have made it this far in this video, congratulations, you're almost at the end. I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching a day in my life. I had fun making this and filming it, and I hope you guys had as much fun watching it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!